we know that as a country opens up to trade, the whole country benefits. There's increase in welfare, but there are some groups that are going to lose from trade and some groups gained from this trade. Yeah, So that's what we would be looking at. All right, so what happens when there's a change in relative price of cloth? Well, if the relative price of cloth increases, then given this GG function, we know that the wage by rental ratio would increase. Once that happens, labor becomes relatively more expensive than land. So both the cloth industry as well as the food industry would become more land intensive. Yeah, more land intensive. Now, when it becomes more land intensive, that means each unit of labor has more land to work with. The marginal productivity of labor would increase in both the sectors. Yeah? So MPL increases. So the that move is going from WR to TL. We know from here that there is going to be uh, an increase in real wages, WYP, yeah? because we know that real wages are equal to the marginal productivity of labor. Okay. Now, what does that imply for good mixes? Well, in the cloth sector, the T by L ratio was given by this line initially. Now the T by L ratio has increased. The slope of this line CC, rise over run, was TC by LC. Yeah? Now when it increases, what happens to this CC line? Well, the slope has increased. TC by LC increases. So it will move towards the land axis. Uh, an easy way of doing that is, guys, if there is increase in land by labor ratio, this line moves towards the land axis. If it is a decrease in T by L, that means an increase in L by T, it would move more towards the labor axis. That helps us easily because our food industry sits here on this box, right? Slope of this line, of the FF line, we would have to be looking at this side. So it becomes easier if we know that as land by labor ratio increases in the food sector, this line is just going to move more towards the land axis, which is this one. Yeah? So if we so we know that the land by labor ratio increases in both the sectors. And as a result, the equilibrium point for the home country is now at this gray point. So if we look at the distance between the origin of the cloth and the new equilibrium, we realize that more cloth is being produced because as you move away from this origin of cloth, more land and labor are being used and hence the output of cloth sector increases. Yeah? What happens as a result is that the output of both the sectors change such that cloth increases and food decreases. So here is the summary slide. Okay, Make sure that you understand all these steps. Skim back to the graphs if you need to.